Okay. Okay, one, two, three. Three, four, five. Okay. That seems to have fixed that. I can turn that to monitor off. Uh, can I be heard now, everyone? Okay. Uh, screen share, please. Yeah, give me a sec. Share screen. Give me a view. OBS. There we go. Yeah, it seems that we just cannot stream any Doom game without some stupidity happening, huh? Yeah, and hello, Morgo and Mac! Wait, uh, where's she? Hmm? Where's she's? Uh, yeah, what happened there? I had think I'd, I'd learned that of how uh, multi track audio recording works, but apparently, this now, now, oh, for also for some reason, Discord refused to listen to my mic even though it was selected. So I had to restart Discord for that. And apparently, even though with OBS you can record on three different audio tracks so that the audio comes out separately, so you can edit it separately. Apparently, you can only stream on one audio track. So that's just plain stupid, if you ask me. Yeah, uh, wait. Oh. Let's see. Hill? Yeah. I think we tried this before a few years ago with the same results. Uh, let's see. Stream. I'm just going to put in a, a search to see if there is a fix for that. Maybe a plugin or something. Okay. Uh, how do you mean that, Marco? As in something is going wrong at the moment? Or just OBS being stupid and giving an option in one. <clears throat> in one section, but not in another. Hold on. Yeah, I can't hear the game. I can only hear you and me. <laughs> let's see. So, it's audio. It is set to desktop uh, to monitor. We, let's see. We had done that through here. It's the audio. Uh, can the game be heard by the people watching? While well, I go and try and figure out whatever is causing this stupidity now. Yeah, we, we knew how to fix it last time. Okay, they can hear it. Okay. So and apparently, we just need to do what we did last time. Hopefully. But we already tested it with the monitoring device. Let's see. Uh, I remember when my friend streamed, he had the same issue, and it's an OBS thing, not your PC. Everything good stream-wise? Okay, so you can hear the game, me, and Drakir, right? Hmm. Okay. All right. Um. Let's see, then. I hmm. actually wait. Okay, just say if you can start hearing the game at any point. Let me see. I'll have to mess around in the sound settings of my computer as well, then probably. Uh, let's see. Playback. Hmm. Let's see. What do you give as the monitoring devices? The speakers, virtual desktop, AUX inputs. Let's see. <laughs> no, Marco. Hmm. What? Why did it? Let's see. Voice meter inputs. Let's see. Yeah, the problem that we're having now is that Drakir is not getting any audio for some stupid reason. Yeah, I only get uh, audio from him, then. Let's see. I know one way that is likely to fix this, but I have been warned that this might be a cause of audio problems. So, voice meter. 
And then we put the cable. Got another cable A, and uh, cable uh, B, no. Mac, if it was a problem on my end, it would mean I would not be able to hear Helium at all. Let's see. And if I do. Uh, wait, where is it? Need to close that off a second. Open it up so a new option is available. Audio, and then. Cable input. Can you hear now? Nope. It's quiet. Oh. Yep. Hey, Marco. He my hug. So, yeah, but that's because he's over Discord, not the screen share. I am on the uh, screen share. Let's see. I do. Uh. Let's see. Those are active. It worked before. Let, let me restart Discord again. Maybe it just needs right. to be kicked in the teeth. Uh, already losing the will to want to play this game if things are being difficult, and it's not even the game being difficult. Start. Start the fucking program, Discord. Uh, let's see. With all the duplicates. There we go. Yeah, I, I already restarted Discord, though. This one, too. Three, four. Five, six, seven. Okay, S sound now? No game sound, only you. No it, sound. It worked before, why is it refusing to work now? Uh. It's audio, cable, it's being put in as the wrong thing or something. Hmm. Did something of, course, it, of course, the game goes silent when I change things again. Okay, no response, so no sound. <clears throat> oh, it, it's not me, it, me uh, Mac. Uh, uh, Marco here confirmed has the same issue over here as well, so it's... Between Discord and OBS. Let's see. User settings, voice and video. I checked on stream, it has audio. Yeah, that's not the problem. It's the fact that Vakir isn't getting audio again for some reason. Yeah, Even after specifically we fixed it, so, and it just fucked itself over again. Yeah, I feel that when you did that experiment earlier, last time, that it, that might have done something. Mm. Yeah, but I undid all of that now. So that shouldn't be anything anymore. Unless I just go... Let's see, just tag that on all audio tracks. Not that that should do anything. The monitoring should be on everything. Mm. Or no, just let's see. Audio cable inputs, and then here advanced. That will likely have killed them. What? I hear. I hear it. Okay, but now the stream. It. Now the stream doesn't have audio, right, Mac? Yeah, so if I... and let's see, now? Look here? I think so! Y yes! Yes! Okay, I Mac. Hear. Oh. So basically the issue it's was that OBS sound. was just being stupid. Because it was set to monitor an output, which it's set to now. It just refused to do so. Ugh. Uh, in 15 minutes of just that bullshit. Uh, there, 
it really just seems that there's something with the Doom games, or the modern Doom games, that just causes problems. Uh, okay, at the very least, I'll add, I'll add five minutes for that. Uh, but yeah, finally now, 15 minutes later. Ahoy everyone and welcome aboard. I'll be your Captain Hillian tonight, along with... Be a so mighty Lieutenant Trickier at your service and some pizza sandwiches. <laughs> there be some casualties along them. Okay, let me double check. Everything else is back to normal. Okay, I, I'll, I'll need to just look into uh, yeah streaming with multiple audio tracks, other which uh, yeah would have made editing audio errors a lot easier. But apparently, at the moment, that's only going to work for recording, not streaming, which is stupid. Anyways, welcome to Doom Eternal, since, well, we finished with Doom 2016, which ended on a cliffhanger. And, yeah, we're going to figure out what the hell is going on then. So, new slot. Uh, let's see. Welcome to Doom Eternal. To become an unstoppable demon-slaying machine of pure destruction, you will need to master the use of your full arsenal. Each death has something to teach you about Doom Eternal's combat loop. Every new enemy type encourages you to um, use more of your kit. When in doubt, consult the Codex for more information on weapons, demon weaknesses, and upgrades. Good luck and remember, above all else, never stop moving. <laughs> it's software. Let's see. Uh, custom no, we're not using a controller. Uh, let's you see. did something I noticed people do at times. Oh? They're called id software, correct? Yeah. I think mainly, I've, it, without realizing it said it <laughs> instead. I don't think you <laughs> did as well. All right, so uh, let's see. Extra life mode is a special campaign mode for players looking for an old school experience. Run out of extra lives and then die, it's game over. Select this mode and <laughs> okay. And yeah, we are not going to be playing on this mode. <laughs> Ultra Nightmare, then we have Nightmare, Ultra Violence. Then we have I'm Too Young to Die, which is the easy mode, and Hurt Me Plenty. Let's see. Quick reflexes in combat and exploration throughout the levels are the key to success in Doom Eternal. At this, uh, there will be dramatic fights and you will push through low health states and occasional deaths on your way to mastering the experience. Attack lasts often, do less damage. Some items you pick up in the world, like health and armor, are more worth than in higher difficulties. Uh, da -da -da. Enemies attack often to do meaningful damage. Death and low health states are will, common, will be common early on as you learn to master the skills required to dominate the combat experience. Uh, well, we finished the last game on this one, so let's give it a go again. Let's go! Hell on Earth. Against all the evil that hell can conjure. All the wickedness that mankind can produce. We will send unto them only you. Rip and tear until it is done. <laughs> okay. Rip uh, and tear! <laughs> For notice, I have not played this game at all. I've only seen if it works with OBS. So all of this is entirely new to me. Well, then you sort of... Seems like they got to Earth after all. We must pray now. Pray, pray. pray that he is watching. Please, anyone, if you can hear me, if you're out there. Okay. Attempting to acquire the Hell Priest signal. Nearly 60% of our planet has been consumed by the invaders. We have the Hell Priest signal locked in. 
The target is marked, but the signal will not hold for long. Who it is he that they fear? Not man! For his army is sunk. They fear the mark of the beast. So one's been busy. I wonder who he bit and beat the shit out to get his own watchtower. Did you miss? Yes. I will mark it on your HUD. The first shot was a miss point blank. <laughs> Let's see, zombies. Use these weak demons to farm for resources. Possessed by the influence of hell, these once human underlings that follow in hell's ranks are those that have been corrupted. And, oh, we can. Oh, there we go. And deceived by its power, forsaking their own humanity. Those who have fully succumbed to hell's control cannot be saved, becoming mindless, grotesque contortions of their former selves. And then we have combat shotgun. Okay. Uh, despite the wealth of armament options for the modern combat specialist, this truly uh, th th this trusty workhorse remains a firm favorite among operatives. When matched against superheated plasmoids or gauze-driven projectiles, the ballistic impact of the combat shotgun holds its own. The simplicity of the design ensures the weapon is extremely quick and reliable, yet the vast array of ammunition types makes it versatile and flexible. Colloquially known as the crowd appeaser, a locked and loaded combat shotgun will pacify even the most ri riotous of assailants. <laughs> Let's see, Marco. I got a game suggestion and the full release for it just came out today. I played the demo and it's great. Okay, what is it then? And yeah, can never go wrong with the 12 gauge. And this is new. Doomblade. A modification to the Praetor suit, the arm-mounted Doomblade is designed to increase the, uh, the, the Slayer's short-range striking power. Strong enough to sever de uh, demonic flesh and bone, the blade's serrated edge allows the Slayer to break through enemy defenses and attack where conventional weaponry is ineffective. Okay. Uh, oh, hold on a second. I almost found it. Doomblade... Uh, I both like and dislike it. Like, I like the idea, but I noticed a odd flaw for it. Okay, I set everything to medium as well, just in case that is an issue that yeah, yeah, leans into the audio stuff. Did they change yeah. the melee button? Because I tried to press F for melee, but that didn't do anything. Uh, where it? Slayer bindings. Yeah. Oh. Oh, they turns the E. My reason for being so that sort of funny the Doom Blade with is the blade is a bit too thick. Ooh. Glory kills when you damage demon enough. Yeah, it becomes staggered. <laughs> okay to turn that guy into a headless. <laughs> Bonk. <laughs> Fritz looks for grumpy as fuck. Glory can oh. always pulse health drop. The less health you have, the more health drops the demon drop. Okay. Bonk. <laughs> you look so fucking grumpy. Bonk. <laughs> Come on. <sighs> oh, hello. Immediately this. Let's see. As the renowned weapon masters of the Night Sentinels profess, it is the warrior that makes the weapon great. Albeit an unconventional choice, the chainsaw has become a staple of the Doom Slayer's personal arsenal. For the kind of work that requires enemy dismemberment, the chainsaw is the right tool for the job. Okay, and that doesn't interrupt that. Uh, oh, hello. Okay, press C to instantly chainsaw demons and refill your ammo. They change that up as well. One pip of chainsaw fuel automatically recharges over time. Okay. And even on medium, these graphics look really good. Oh yeah. 
and instead of whipping this thing out and then having to hit your target with it again it just goes for it instantly out yeah this, this is a good change oh yeah all right nope. uh, let's see bunch of punchables are objects that move, can move with the green okay And we immediately start off with the double jump, which makes sense since we got that last time. Nice. Uh, and also, I'm also prepared for this stream. I got the right snacks. <laughs> Doritos. All right. I, I feel like, uh, uh, to be a very comfy commentator i he learned those other work but i just lean back commentate and eat snacks <laughs> uh let's see marco it's called my friendly neighborhood and all i'll say about it, <clears throat> all i'll say about it so sorry for the <clears throat> interrupting myself just had dinner right before this stream uh is that it's a combination of the muppets and survival horror i actually know about it uh 8-bit ryan i believe uploaded a video about it before stream i didn't watch it but i have seen people uh, people play the demo yeah it's i've seen it though. that's why i recognized it the name i mean i've even mm -hmm. cut the source plate as well let's see full full auto what on a combat shotgun a book Oh, that, that adds a spinning barrel. Let's see. Sticky bombs. Pull to turn the combat shotgun into a grenade launcher that can fire sticky bombs and into a fully automatic weapon. Okay. Let's see. Adds a long range option to the shotgun. The explosion can damage multiple demons at once. Sticking to a weak point triggers a larger explosion. Okay. Which the up it, has to, it gets the upgrades quick rack and bigger boom. And mastery of fi is called five spots. I like that they point this stuff out. Uh, quick recovery, faster transform, fast feet. Let's go with this one. Uh, I would say this a auto, full auto shotgun like this sounds like an overkill, but when you're fighting with demonic me. hordes, you, that might be a kind of weapon you need, so you're not no longer just fighting humans anymore yeah okay to activate the weapon mod press and hold and f yeah search the environment to like take more mod bots also want some like noted this thing is <laughs> this thing is very doom slayer shaped with even vega's name out in front of it yes. so i'm yeah they i'm guessing it. he's i'm guessing he, that means he's been uh yeah i'm guessing this yeah Okay, just beating them up in doesn't get them into that anymore. <laughs> its face remains free. It, just, <laughs> it, it just means that Vega has a bunch of drones out looking for this stuff. Yes, you realize. Dubka didn't kill the, the drone this time or punch it. Yep. Well, it's Vega's, so he has no reason to. Oh. Imp. Let's see, use bullet weapons to stomp the imp in its tracks. Okay, each each of them now has their weaknesses. Scavengers of the Underworld. Imps are among the most common of beasts found on the scorched surface of the hellscape. Lesser demons of hell, the imp possesses limited intelligence driven only by a hunter's impulse to seek out prey, a task for which the imp is naturally suited due to its innate capacity for violence. As a result of these, comp yeah, of these attributes, the imp makes for an ideal foot soldier and is oft deployed in the warring legions of hell, easily manipulated and controlled by commanding highborn demons at the behest of the sovereign chapters. It is common for the imp to appear at the front line of an offensive attack, an expendable resource unleashed in great numbers to overcome and break through the enemy front. Okay, you see, then. the imps are like predatory ships? Basically. Yeah. And chimps, as in chimpanzee people. Already facing quite a group. <laughs> yep. There we go. Okay, it could just be because I lowered the graphics some, but the things look a bit more cartoony. Well, it kind of adds to charm in a way. Mm. 
Oop, thank you. Oop. Um, let's see here. Uh, oh, seems Marco also eating Doritos. <laughs> yeah. Okay, you can still pull it out. Just. <laughs> the zombies just look sad. <laughs> There we go. Mind your heads. Oh. Okay. Get to dig Nilux's chamber? What? And it's yeah, they they're really starting us off on a higher ledge already. Well, since it's very clear that this war with Hell has been going on for a bit longer than uh, let's see, Hell barges than uh, when it happened in the previous game. Uh, let's see, <laughs> Marco. Yes, he doesn't punch the cute drones anymore. <laughs> okay. Uh, don't know if it was in Doom 2016, but depending on where you aim at the demons uh, when they're stunned, uh, you get different kill glory kill MAs. Yeah, th I, that is that was in 2016 as well. Uh, I'm a good friend of Dakir. I know him for about a decade now. Uh, just uh, you wait, you'll see the full effect of the demons war very soon. Yeah, <laughs> they drew a fucking pentagram over Mexico, I think. Uh, oh, I don't think it was Mexico. I think it was uh, in US. Yeah, somewhere at least. So. Hell on the Earth is an appropriate title. Atop Mightiest Thralls, the Hell Priests oversaw the invasion of the mortal world. The Thrall, slave titan of the underworld, carried the priest temples into the wake of battle, providing the priest with vigil, uh, with vigil of Hell's advance, uh, advance from a strategically impervious emplacement. From their temple perch, the priests uh, would emanate a powerful psionic influence, imposing greater coordination among the chaotic forces of hell and increasing the battle efficient, uh, their battle efficient effectiveness. The Thrall, possessing superior resilience, proved indestructible by conventional weapons, thwarting all attempts by arc defensive forces. Only by severing the priest's psychokinetic tether, uh, tether could the titan be neutralized, an act that could only be accomplished by an infiltration of the temple itself. Okay. So that is what we're up to. We're basically just breaking in. My soul remains guarded. You can <laughs> Ooh. Hello. <laughs> That's his hat for a second. Oh, Romeo, oh, Romeo, fuck you, Romeo. Or no. Uh, what was. Poor no. Yorick? Yeah, poor Yorick. <laughs> uh, oh, hello. Yeah, I think you did a wrong Shakespeare reference. <laughs> Oh, wait, look around. The demonic consumption of blood has been reduced. That must be the EA headquarters. There are two hell priests oh. remaining. Uh, that must be the thrall then. Yeah, you was on his, you were on his back. <laughs> I think. If it's a very little monkey on his back. Okay. Well, Samuel, has all of this still been worth it? Let's see. Remaining human populations. Nearly 60% of the planet has been consumed by the demons, with the rate of expansion increasing each day. The majority of the world population died in the first month of the Hell Invasion, following the catastrophic failure of virtually every man-made system. Military response was immediate, but only marginally effective at providing safe retreat to civilians with many fortified locations cut off from outside communication. Facing overwhelming opposition, these makeshift fortresses have gradually fallen through the growing demon presence one after the other. Large portions of the Earth's surface have become uninhabitable, with swarms of demons scouting the globe and most regions suffering from an atmosphere that has become infected and poisonous by process of uh, some form of alien terraformation. 
60%. Yeah. Also, that's the first time I've seen it writ written out like that. Terraformation. Like, I mean, typically it's just called terraforming. Uh, let's see. Yeah, Don't forget to check the map. <laughs> Marco, great work, guys. Let's shoot for 70%. Oh, yeah. I think you missed one uh. message there. <laughs> But it's uh, true, yeah, I, I'm like a live reaction for Helios gameplay. Yep. <laughs> okay, auto map is still here. Yep, <laughs> even a little figurine for the Slayer. Hello. Okay, they're not going to tease us with this other option for long. Okay. F to sw okay, F is now weapon wa swap, not R. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Oop. Objective marker shows you where your current objective is. Uh, top left alt. And left alt to show the objectives in the world. Okay. That's useful. Yep. Attacker D. Oh, already getting Ds, huh? Uh, soldiers also. Uh, let's see. Weakness shells, weakness plasma rifle, weakness blood punch. Okay. Can instantly destroy the energy shield. That is going to be useful against the shield bastards. Let's see. Once frontline infantry fighting to protect Earth from the demon invasion, the hell soldiers have been claimed by darkness, turning them against their fellow soldiers in the midst of battle. Uh, let's see. Sticky bomb works great on Kako demons. <laughs> <laughs> drone, my beloved thing, pet. Someone wants a drone, it seems. And let's see. Oh, sticky bomb or fragmentate into its mouth to trigger a stagger. Okay. And it's weak to the ballista. Let's see. Hunters of the Slowerlands. The Caco Demon lurks the bottomless and murky depths of hell in search of easy prey. Nameless Wanderer. The Caco Demon is mostly devoid of cognitive ability, sensory awareness, and other commonly occurring impulses. Driven only by a singular desire to feed, the Kako Demon is likely to appear wherever there is flesh to be consumed, bringing with it an insatiable propensity for hunger. It is said that the Kako Demon bears some resembling to the cycloptic Titans of Ancient Hell lore, leading Sentinel scholars to believe that the Forgotten Titans may yet live on in some disembodied form. Let's see. Yeah, Kako Demons are always a pain in the ass. Knock, knock. Gimme, gimme, gimme! Ah, <laughs> the zombie oh. split in twain! <laughs> uh, <laughs> apparently the Doom Slayer has been watching Batman the Animated Series. Cause yeah, he just got banged. Uh, also, might just reply to you, who's there? <laughs> Oop. I did not expect I could grab onto that. Uh, let's see. Ooh, there's something hidden there. Ooh. Weak point. Uh, Arachnathrons. Okay. Certain, yeah, certain demons have weak points that can be shot for extra damage or even disable their abilities. Weak points flash red when damaged. The Arachnathron is a heavy ranged demon. Its turret is a weak point that can be destroyed, disabling its long range attacks. Okay. It's just we jump away from it. Okay. Is it for Morco? I think we got Ding Dong Ditched. <laughs> what? <laughs> and for Mac, one downside of the tutorials is it spoils what demons you are going to fight next. Ah, and we missed. I, I, oh, I, I can't missed. agree with that. Oh well. Bye bye. Up. I was wondering what that little noose, knowing little plasma thing was. Actually, insufficient. Okay. Was enough fuel in that though.
Okay. There we go. Oh, hello. Bye bye. <laughs> that was yours, I presume. Okay, I like that it automatically swaps to this to the chainsaw when you're out of uh, yeah when you're out of ammo. That is good. <clears throat> And also, I think that the Spider Tron has quite a migraine. Seeing as it's whole head. <laughs> Actually, I probably should ignore zombies for the moment and just go after the big fish. Or the big er fish, because these are still small sprites. The back here, you. <laughs> okay, I, I the game the game acknowledges that the zombies are such a small, uh, such a tiny uh, threat that they aren't even <laughs> they aren't even counted as enemies for progression like that. <laughs> okay. And yes, I have noticed that my avatar is moving a bit slow at times. Let's see, what is this? Okay, Q or button 5 to quickly swap to your previous. Okay, hold to activate. Okay. Hello there. <laughs> the heavy assault rifle, which I am happy to have, but it doesn't mean that makes it a happy assault rifle. Well, you remember that uh, <laughs> thing you did uh, a few episodes back? Yeah. Uh, let's see. I've had so many jump scares by zombies. Do I finish the fight? Then I <laughs> thought I finished the fight, and a zombie jumped out at me. Oh no! Heels violent thoughts are getting <laughs> going over trick here. Uh, let's see. Sticky bomb to the turret to stop it shooting. Okay. <laughs> Uh, there's a storm in my area, so don't wonder if why I suddenly go offline. One of the downside, yeah. Uh, finding an auto map station will reveal all undiscovered areas of the map. Or on the ma uh, map. Uh, you can view the map in the map tab of the dossier. Your auto map also reveals valuable items in the world as you explore a location. So check back regularly to see what you have uncovered. Okay. Uh, it even marks combat areas. Okay, no secrets around here. Zuruka, you left that secret for the back. Yeah, but that's in an area that we can't go back to. It's... Oh. Ooh. Did that one a splitting headache? <laughs> Hello. You. And yeah, I should probably give context to, for the joke earlier. Do you want the rune challenges in the last game? Yeah. Which was about heavy assault rifle. It kept it didn't say happy assault rifle. Okay, they finally got it right after what was it like? Three times? Wow. <laughs> And it made me laugh. <laughs> oh, you can you can fast travel to this. Okay. Uh, let's see. Where's ah? Uh, there's the spider. Itsy bitsy. <laughs> I was, I was just thinking that I just thought, should I make the joke? <laughs> no mind, he didn't did it for me. Okay. That way to progress. This way to act. Oh, hello. <laughs> really? 
<laughs> back to... Uh, yeah, they, they are leaning very much towards the uh, old school uh, Doom. With all of these bit more cartoony elements. Yes, behold. Just idiots. Oh. I remember the demo causes some outrage for a certain Twitter group. Oh. It's it's a bitty fucking dead, yeah. You you uh. will you will soon see. It, it was one of those holograms. Oh, there's another one of those big boys. Hmm. How do I get in there? The ceiling is broken. Taking a bit of a side thing. Harp. Wait, is the UAC still filled with it morons? And yes. Is Okay, so I'm guessing this arc is the actual helip. <laughs> arc are the actual people who are not insane. Indeed. Okay. Let's see. Remaining human the populations part two. Let's see. Although several hundred thousand were um, more were safely evacuated out of orbit in the mass exodus following the invasion, the expected odds of survival is considered unlikely for many of these lifeboats carrying their yeah, cryogenically frozen passengers. Religious iconography and communes are now commonplace among survivors, with the collective perception of events taking on a biblical nature. Many seek authority from a higher power to rationalize the sudden destruction of their world, believing these events represent a form of divine punishment. Yet yeah, they're a divine punishment for ego, especially a certain cyborg's ego. Ooh, extra life. Uh, extra life immediately revive you if you run out of health. Okay. When, oh, once you run out of extra lives, losing all your health will send you back to your last checkpoint. Yeah, they are going with a very much more arcade lean. Yeah. Still, with a different flair, still. Yeah. It's a bit, it's not comical or anything. It, it's still, it's, it's leaning in the middle a bit. Let's see. Orc is the Armed Response Coalition, i.e. the Human Resistance. Okay. No time for your command, Mayor Bullshit. I thought so. The Slayer can attach the pitted walls by pressing E or mouse. Climb, ta -ta -ta, look around and... <laughs> Okay, parkour, parkour. <laughs> Hello. We're even blowing chunks out of them, it seems. Lady, ladies, you're both dead. Uh, because they were infighting between each other. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. I need to pay my fit in my hand. And I lost a lot of sour cream powder on it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm half tempted to put in a bonk meter. For me or the zombies? The bonk zombies. I thought I missed yeah. one. Can you uh, guess who summoned the demons here? Yeah. Up, out of it. Yeah, bullshit. Yeah. Small hallway and that thing don't work together. Yep. 
There we go. It's fucking is fucking Hayden behind this. Uh, we How already got the up there. It's, uh, precision bolts, semi-automatic loader that fires high-precision, high-powered rounds and micro missiles. Hmm. Let's actually go with this one. That sounds more of a description, better description than just a putting a scope on this thing. So it is basically the same. Let's see. Yeah, the extra life difficulty only lets you respawn if you uh, only have those extra lives. If you run out, uh, yeah, we saw that at the, the difficulty decisions. I'll take that. And hello. Frag grenade. Press left control or middle mouse to launch a grenade which explodes after uh, landing on the ground. The explosion damages and falters any demons hit by the blast. Combo it with other weapons. Gradually recharges over time. I've, I knew about these from uh, Mighty Doom, which is a uh, mobile spin-off-ish. Okay. Put that into place. And let's see. Ragnatron. The Ragnatrons are built with genetic material recovered from the remains of the original spider mastermind, bioengineered for cyber augmentation. While its actual body exhibits only limited mobility, the oddly cerebral qualities of the Ragnatron make it a prime candidate for the impulse-controlled prosthetic frame that it now permanently inhabits. The UAC from a facility responsible for the Arachnotron's recreation, intending for to engineer and weaponize demons of, <coughs> of their own design, was overrun after an outbreak occurred inside of its assembly plant, killing everyone inside. The facility, still operating under the directive of the administrative AI, continues to manufacture Arachnotrons autonomously. Okay, so basically they're all Olivia Pierce clones. Well, it looks like we didn't put her out of her mi well, we put her out of her misery, and then Aiden, or whoever is behind this, put her back into her misery. Oh dear. Uh, okay. Uh, equipment launcher, custom built to fit the Demon Slayer's Praetor suit. Uh, this shoulder-mounted uh, ordnance system is, is modified to serve a variety of combat roles. Designed as a universal munitions platform, the equipment launcher is capable of altering its armament configuration with the press of a switch activated by a reflex sensor located in the interior of the Praetor's gauntlet. Okay. In its flame belts configuration, the launcher spits a gout of fire exceeding 1000 Celsius, setting even the sturdiest of demons aflame. While in, in its grenade launcher configuration, the launcher fires a traditional UAC model frag explosive, a projectile-based payload not dissimilar to that of the ice bomb, wherein the launcher fires an <laughs> I, <laughs> you see, IC4, you know, the gas canister to flash freeze nearby target. Really? I see. <laughs> I see. I see 40? Yep. Uh, let's see. Da -da -da -da. Good choice. Give me the toy the, the kid me wants to play with it, even though the world has ended. You can actually buy the toy collectibles whole range on um, on Amazon. Yeah, I, I know that the, I knew that the, the absolute least there was one of the uh, the me, the mini Slayer. <laughs> it's what the toy version of the Doom Slayer is called. Uh, I knew they were available on Amazon. Yeah, likely with the emphasis on war. Not sure if they're still being made. Uh, let's see. Mighty Doom is my favorite pastime on my work breaks. Flame belts is armor drops. Okay. Uh, heavy cannon. A common complaint among users of this punch packing conventional weapon is the weight, as most of the component parts are forged in tungstronium, a proprietary alloy developed to withstand the enormous stresses imparted by the optional exploding dart ammunition. However, the additional weight makes the heavy cannon an ideal sniper rifle, as swaying and tremors are mitigated by the massive bulk. Trigger management is of the highest priority when using this weapon, as self-inflicted gunshot wounds are common thanks to its no-pull <laughs> reflex <laughs> trigger system. I'm strode, uh, uh, I think I know part of what... probably makes the majority part of that uh, alloy. Yeah, tungsten and strontium. Wait, strong team is a metal? Uh, it's a mineral at the absolute least. Oh, and these are just all the that. tutorials. 
It's going to click all and of these off. I mean, repeat this fact. It was us Swedes that named tungsten. It, it literally means heavy rock. <laughs> okay, it actually swallows it. And, uh, uh, <laughs> the Kakodim is a pressure demon with a powerful close-range bite. If you can stick a stick, uh, if you can fire a sticky bomb or frag grenade into its mouth, it instantly staggers. Okay. Give. Well, that wasn't supposed to happen. Hello. Goodbye. Yep. Even with the audible gold. Bonk. It blows us up on that. Yep. Thank you for visiting. Now fuck off. Bye. Oh, stuck it to his face. Thank you. Yep. Okay, going to hit those weak spots with the stick grenade is going to be a bit annoying when they're walking around. Poor oh, damn it. There we go. Wait, I just realized. How the heck did he get her DNA? They're uh, being stupid and going back to hell. Somehow. I'm guessing they had more Rs in the accumulator somewhere. Or they got some of the demons to get it for them? Oh, hello. From 33 oh. unique glory kills. Okay, in a single save slot. <laughs> Hello. Okay. Yeah, let's see. I remember a scene where a zombie played with a Doom Guy toy and a Kaku Demon toy. Then the scene cuts to black when Doom Guy pumps his shotgun. <laughs> Oh, hello. Uh, Pacific Rim wants his toy back. Precision oh. bolts works one. There's some most weak spots. Okay. Told you the sticky bomb was a good idea. Yeah. Continues to inspire us. Do you want to listen to those messages? Can you say it too? Yep. We welcome you, brothers and sisters, to your new home. Yep. This is what it right. looks like when a, you know, when a cult goes mask off. Wait, was that all of it? You know, the, the UAC would like to thank you for your support. <laughs> it's the gulp that sells it. <laughs> oh, the uh, abyss. They not found a damn hologram that made a certain group of people on Twitter really pissed off.
Okay. Ah. I missed that. It's... Oh, I did not see that there was a ridge there. There. Okay. Take it, please. Formation of the R. Bonk. <laughs> uh, okay. Following the total collapse of international civilization, nations and boundaries as we knew them have ceased to exist. A handful of remaining bureaucrats, government officials, and military leaders have managed to survive by use of protective bunkers kept secret to the greater population. Uh, wanna bet that one of them is under a certain mountain with a certain stargate inside? <laughs> hmm. uh, convening under the flag of the Allied Nations, the, this governing body represents all the remains of the rule of law, forming what would essentially become a single world government. Military bases in communication with the AN have made efforts to regroup and centralize their areas of command, establishing fortified safe havens for survivors, stockpiling food, and scavenging for supplies. Only proprietary military use communications remain functional, enabling military entities under command of the Allied Nations to coordinate in humanitarian aid and defense operations. By 2151, the formation of the Ark has taken the highest priority and is considered to be, in all practical terms, the last hope for humanity. It is. Oh, there's images along with these. Okay. It's. It's. Okay, it's just a zoom in version of that. Okay. I, I completely missed this one. <laughs> there, there. Uh. <laughs> hmm? Let's I thought it's all in flames. <laughs> mom, it's specific rim, it's specific rim, mom. That sounds like a meme. Uh, those VI speeches get even better as the game goes on. I don't get it. What about the mountain with a star? A star dates. <laughs> no, it's not time for hand time. I knew you would do it. Bloody knew it. Let's see... Hmm. Not there. Not every tentacle hole has one inside. Sometimes tentacle can, can, tentacles can be very big. The subject of great scrutiny for arc scientists on Earth, these hell growth formations have appeared all over the planet, taking hold wherever hell has made its presence known. Forming chaotic, seemingly random structural patterns, the propagation of hell growth has taken root at an alarming rate. Exhibiting a cellular re reproduction cycle that arc scientists fear may become impossible to contain. The resultant environmental effect is extremely hostile to terrestrial life, producing atmospheric biocontagions or contagions, yeah, con contagions, and a multitude of organic hazards. Wherever these nest-like growths emerge, they are protected by swaths of defensive tendrils, long thorned tentacles that demonstrate keen awareness of their surroundings, fully capable of disemboweling anything that it deems to be a potential threat to the nest. All right. <laughs> Fatality. Oh. Uh, one thing that helps with the zombie, the zombies just look so dim. Yeah, they but, look but, like they, they just got up and it was in a bit of shock and not have their morning coffee yet. Come here, you. Yep. Bye bye. Let's see. Interrupted day. Big Council? Uh, it's... <laughs> Marco, I was gonna say that. As soon as I saw the tentacle, I was gonna say this is not a hentai. Jump on that crate again, then jump up. Okay. Um... Ah. Thanks for that, Bert. Or Mac. Let's see? Cheat codes. <laughs> Come on, and 
Oh, that is so the quake symbol, but totally not the quake symbol. Cheat codes activate special modifiers in mission select, excluding all runes. Cheat codes save progression, uh, but you cannot pick up items that conflict with your current cheats, excluding in-world runes are locked with the all runes cheat. Playing missions with cheat codes hides the Slayer key. Slayer key? Replay missions and have to find all items, finish all encounters, and experiment with locked equipment and weapons or upgrades. Okay. Oh. Well, be careful with the ammo. Yeah, those are in, those recharge automatically. He's gonna have to get used to it being around or near the crosshair instead of off to the sides. We'll get to the Slayer keys later. Okay. So just gotta love that it sounds like a just a. <laughs> A brontosaurus bonk. A brontosaurus is just climbing up. There's one those brontosaurus's crawling walls like a lizard. You, you I don't think there would be a that. much of a wall left. Oh. 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 There we go, much easier. What? Oh, that was you. Got myths. Give me. Oh, dear gods and goddesses. Yep. There we go. Thank you. That was one hit too many. Let's see. Must admit my favorite part of this game was the Slayer Gates. Ultra violence with the most head banging <laughs> uh, head, you know, you know, soundtracks. Let's see. Shouldn't there be another whole drama out here? That probably is somewhere. Alright, wait, 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 wait. Okay, let's see. The UAC. Because it takes a lot of hard work to make a prophecy happen. Prophecy. Okay. Also, hello. Got a split. Was that a banana split? <laughs> Actually, mm. has anyone here eaten a banana split? Maybe. It's nothing hidden. Nothing hidden. Just as I find an extra life. Okay. Now, where do we actually need to go here? This way. <laughs> hey, I, we're really just blasting chunks out of them, huh? Yeah. Yeah, this can be screwed, but in a way, I feel like 
Can I get 216 one? It's still important in a way, since... Yeah, it's, it's the beginning of the story. Yep. It doesn't and diminish it, the fact that that is also just a great game. Indeed. <laughs> but it also makes it important since... Yeah. Epic's game has a start. There, oh, just snapped the arm and then punched him out. Okay, I need to kill something with the chainsaw. Also, if, if Marco has eaten a banana split, I have not myself. I, I have eaten ice cream some bananas, like in them, but the bananas that I throw in myself. But. Never even an actual banana split. You just. Yep. <laughs> They've given her a little treat. You just fed its own grin. Let's see, did I miss anything? I missed some ammo here, so let me just grab that. First permanent upgrade that we can get, we're upgrading the amount of ammo that we can carry around. The con maker is nearby. She is inside that demonic citadel. I will mark her location on your HUD. Who? Ah, I see. There we go. <laughs> yeah, they made a new well. It's, it tastes good with chocolate syrup over it. No spoilers, but there's a lot more demons in this game and they're much, much deadlier. Yeah, I heard that one fan quote-unquote favorite is in here somewhere. Holy shit, the lightning almost hit the street's power box. Okay. Here we go. The gathering of hell priests is located just above your location. My scans indicate there is a lift at the center of this facility. All right. Fast travel allows you to teleport to predetermined points in the map. You know, find, use it to find additional items and complete optional encounters. Unlike near the end of a mission. Okay. Access fast, fast, fast travel in the map tab. Okay. Uh, yeah, show fast travel. Let's see. Where was that one? Oh, there's the multiple different points. Okay, there. That's also a way to a nice way to see where in a mission you are. Okay, just ahead. Also, come on, do you have to destroy the place and put up graffiti? That's just rude. <laughs> yeah, that. that, that uh, it, wait, let's be honest. What do you expect from demons? Not much. <laughs> There we go. <laughs> of course. Yeah, wait, 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 wait. Stop, stop. Okay, remove this. And I want you to look next to you, towards, uh, next to you. Um. What? Someone got impaled and cut in half. Okay. Then, and yep. roasted? Or what happened? I don't know if it'd be ashified or turned to stone or what. <laughs> that image was so cute, yeah. Uh, yeah Healing and stumbling over his words intensifies. Demonic chanting intensifies. Uh, yeah, that kind of happens when demons take over Earth, Rakir. Yeah. 
<laughs> the con maker is present at this gathering, but when outside of her domain, she is by all accounts indestructible. Ooh. Well, the Slayer has always liked the challenge. So uh, you two might want to rethink about operating this elevator at the moment. How can this be? No man can pass through the gate. It is... Oh, that... That's why we needed him. This stops nothing. The sacrament of this world to the great Khan Maker will be made, and the energy will be restored once again. As it is written, from the souls of the non-believers, you will not save them from their judgment. Cowards. Who? You go too far this time. You cannot interfere. This is humanity's chance to repent. To give service to us. You cannot resist the will of the Khan Maker. Activating the portal now. For it was you who was meant to enforce it. Huh? Uh, we missed three things, it seems. Let's see. One, two, three. Okay, we've missed two codex things and one toy deck. Okay. And... Let's see. Oh, new Let's see. Deluxe. Let's do this. Awarded for milestone completion. And Doomsday, or okay. Hmm. Uh, let's see. For the Guild War 2 players in chat, mainly to hear, also me, the con maker also voiced Aureen. Okay. I, I still need to play the last uh, expansion. Uh, it's, it's an intimidating <laughs> shotgun clack. <laughs> and of course, the, and of course, Marco. Oh, mommy. <laughs> I don't think she'd uh, give you a bedtime story you'd want. Nope. Fortress of Doom. Let's see. It's only hmm. concern if you ever to watch a stream somewhat uh, in Resident Evil games now. I do not have the means to locate the second Hell Priest. Your celestial locator is missing a component. We will need a replacement. Exulta? I've completed yes. the redesign of your equipment launcher. The flame belch is now ready for your approval. I'm a bit confused. I uh, thought we were to see that the hologram we were meant. Maybe they appear later. But no, they appeared in the demo. Okay, flame belch. No, if we have missed that one somehow. Because I thought they are hard to miss. Oh, wait, do we get access to this and the grenade launcher at the same time? Okay. Press R to set enemies on fire and they will uh, drop armor shards. Kill them and they'll drop the most armor. Flame belts demons in groups to maximize the number of shards dropped. Flame belts gradually recharge over time. Okay, oh yeah, we get them. <laughs> okay. Okay, that is going to be really useful. Obtain a sentinel crystal. Okay, how long... Where did we get all of this from? How long has it been since the previous game? Let's see. I think we tell that, actually. Let's see. Sentinel crystal tutorial. This is the sentinel crystal uh, selection screen. Use a crystal to permanently upgrade... Okay. Let's see, quick draw, flame belts takes test less time to reload. You can select an upgrade to increase your health, armor, or ammo capacity. There are four upgrades available for each category. 
Uh, when selecting an upgrade, this section shows your current upgraded capacities for health, armor, and ammo, and how the selected upgrade will, be, upgrade will increase that category. Unlocking two linked upgrades also gives you a bonus upgrade. Consider the bonus upgrade when selecting your Sentinel Crystal upgrades. All right. Uh, let's see. Going to want one for armor. Heavy and super heavy demons stay on fire longer. Uh, oh, okay. Let's see. Loot magnets. And further away. Health for blood. As long as you're at maximum health, all health pickups contribute to blood punch. Armor for blood. As long as you're... Okay. Let's go with this one. Since we want more ammo. Okay, just smash it, of course. We're immediately applied along with any unlocked bonus upgrades. Search the environment to locate more Sentinel Crystals. Okay. The portal is activated and ready when you are. All right. Oop. This is an ARC broadcast. There are reports coming out of the quarantined Hellified Zone near the San Andreas Chasm. Satellite imagery show what ARC personnel believe to be the legendary Doom Slayer himself fighting the mortally challenged. The Doom Slayer, or Doom Guy, as he is sometimes referred to, was thought to be a myth of the Resistance, a sort of avenging angel. He was last reported to be seen on Mars and is allegedly responsible for the destruction of the Argent Tower there. He disappeared soon afterwards. The UAC continues to deny all reports of his existence. We will continue to broadcast new information as we receive it. Okay. Uh, I'm pretty sure at this point anything the UAC says should be taken as absolute bullshit. Yeah, and also, did you see, he, they said, mortally challenged. Yep. That's the USC's uh, to play for. They coined the term, but they found calling the ones they serve, demons offensive. And this it, is an ARC broadcast. See, is this the same? There are reports coming out of yep. the quarantined hellfights. Yeah, because the, the whole game are talking about mention this. And that's what's what made Twitter angry. I think you can guess which type of Twitter people that got upset for being called out. Yeah, let's see. To put an end to the demonic consumption of Earth, the Hell Priest must be eliminated. Following the death of Derek Nixel, the remaining two Hell Priests have gone missing. Yep, <laughs> Doomguy probably should have just put a, buck, a round of buckshot into each of them right there. You must return to Exaltia, Forbidden City of the of Sentinel Past, to acquire the device necessary to locate the remaining priests and save Earth. All right. Do you, you want to read chat? <laughs> Mortally challenged is the politically correct pronoun for demons. Uh. I still don't call them demons. Let's see. Oh, hello. Uh, also, hello. Hello. Okay. Hello. Yep. And hello, gravity. <laughs> Hail. Hmm. Where am I supposed to jump to? Wait. Climbable up there. There we go. Just the sound of that weight. Uh, uh, hello? Wrong. <laughs> what is wrong doing here? Okay, no separate thing for those, just normal zombies as well. And yeah, we know that armor, huh? Oh yeah. Yep. 
Exotia. Translation from the <clears throat> Legra Sotagenta, Book of Kings. What treachery comes from our darkest selves, driven by greed and want. For I have been deceived by the Deag, or Deag. They came north with I, the priests, as allies uh, to our cause against the Khan Maker and her unscrupulous methods. Their silvery tongues wagged, they laid a plan for us and sowed the seeds and a seed of desire for hasty triumph. They claimed knowledge of the Maker's source of power in the demon realm, a vast foundry of souls where the innocent are put uh, through the fire for the essence. In the foundry's destruction, our victory is assured, they told us, and the fools that we were, that I am, believed our lies. On their words, we sent the Doomslayer and the Night Sentinels to destroy the foundry, and the priests cast a gate for their you know, and the, cast a gate for their egress. As the last veteran entered the Demon's Empire, our final home of reclaiming our domain, the Deag closed the path and left them stranded. They were trapped, lost in the internal void by the actions uh, action of the traitors. How could I not see their intention? Am I blinded by grief for the loss of Terra's Nabad, of my people? We have fled again, with barely a legion of the Night Sentinels left to protect us. The day are gone, returns to their mistress. May the rage forgive my failure. Uh, hey, you, you did a misread. Oh? You said final home. Final home? It's final hope. A uh, final hope, yeah. <laughs> Me speak a good English. Oh, gargoyle. Okay, those I don't know. Yep. Open up and shut up. Basically, winged imps. Yep. I think I have an actual name. They die all the same as imps. Let's have a look. Ah, there. Blasted out of imp. Yeah, they're blasted out of midair to instantly uh, trigger a stagger. Like their imp brethren, the gargoyle is an agile, relentless pack hunter. Native to the Sentinel world, this beast has plagued the Sentinel Guard for centuries. As one of the few demon breeds that could bypass the walled defense of Sentinel Prime, the gargoyle could appear without warning and claim hapless townspeople before disappearing into the wasteland. Only the most skilled marksmen of the Night Sentinels could intercept this aerial threat, a peril which demanded an ever-vigilant watch over the city's perimeter. Okay. Uh, Pacific Rim again. Sentinel Popper, Ram, is that you? Our messiah has come from the heavens to get rid of the evil threat that has corrupted these lands. Hail Doomslayer. I believe him now to be more than just a man. He is Doom. <laughs> Meat hook, let's rock. I'm gonna quote that. <laughs> okay, you're, you're free to clip things. It should be enabled. Let's see, nothing missed, nothing missed. Still fight going on. Right, just these two. Yep. Okay, that was, that was a bit disappointing that didn't actually count them here. Oh, hello there. Uh oh. And I think so, a hidden thing. Yep, there's a, there's a crack in the wall over there. You're a bit smaller, but also a, quite a bit faster. Yeah. Hell Knight. The chain gun can quickly falter this demon. Okay. <clears throat> the Hell Knight, warrior beast among demons, has earned its place over the millennia in service of the eternal arc, arc demons. As imposing as the sovereign houses, Hell Knights have long served as barbaric enforcers of the netherworld, impelling, impelling lesser demons by way of brutality. 
Rare among demon kind for its innate regard for primal orders of hierarchy, the Hell Knight exhibits an adherence to the prevailing rule of its demon lord masters. Requiring little compulsion on behalf of its highborn masters, Hell Knights readily serve the elder Hell Gods for the extent of their lifespans, reaping great satisfaction in the way of war and desecration. All right. Double check. Okay, not everything is going to show up on the map. Oh, hello. And that's the blood punch then. Okay. Blood punch is a melee attack that deals extra damage. Glory killing fills the blood punch meter. Once charged, press E or F mouth. Mouse four or five to unleash it. Okay. It's... Okay, it's over in the lower left there. Okay, this is basically an AoE punch. <laughs> Take extra ammo. Uh, yeah, that takes six shots, it seems. I'm still too used to just pressing R for reloads when this game doesn't do reloads. <laughs> Okay, enhance your abilities and enable new abilities. You have limited rune slots, so choose the runes that fit your playstyle. Oh, when we get to pick. All right. Uh, oh, hello there, Durvan. Uh, hey, Durvan. Uh, doing well, and you? Yes. <laughs> Let's see. Increase how long will this play? Movement control. Hold to temporarily slow down time. Once the rune is fully drained, you'll have to wait for it to recharge. Enemies killed by equipment or while on the influence will decrease the recharge time. Uh, enemies killed by a blood punch shockwave drop health. Uh, let's go with this one. <laughs> punch and reef. <laughs> oh, oh, map. I... I think that they said something about reloading away from the farm, so they did add a reload function. Yeah. Okay. Let me call that. So, uh, here you can view and equip purchased runes. Okay. Select a rune to equip, yeah. Oh, oh rune slots. Okay. It's active. Finding more runes will unlock more rune slots. Okay. Nothing else hidden here. There is something out there or below there. Let's see, and uh, yeah, Durvan is doing good as well. Lovely. And I'm doing well over here as well. Oops. Okay, just face through the stairs for a sec. Uh, hmm. From Durvan. How. So, how hard is Doom proving so far? Uh, reasonable. We haven't gone with the easy modes. Yeah, we avoid higher difficulties when we stream games, and yeah, it, it's, it would be hard for both of us to commentate, especially for Helia to commentate if he is on the, for example, the highest difficulty. <laughs> So yeah, we're on Hurt Me Plenty. We're going to hurt them, Plenty. And throw back! 
headbangs violently. Almost read that as violently for some reason. Okay, just a tango with some hell knights. Can't say I'm a fan of these traps here. Okay. Oh, no ammo. Okay, then we get to do that instead. There, give me health. Up, dip, up. Mind my step. Oh. Oh, the Durban Lord the first. The heck kind of gun is that? The I don't really need that without the random accident I just started with. I don't know what that came from. The heck kind of gun is this too? This is a soul rifle? Yep. Meant the previous one there. Oh, it's this called is the heavy the... cannon. Can you repeat that? The heavy cannon. I think it's only you almost miss said that again. Yeah. Oh yeah, this is the girl that Hillian has one time accidentally called the Happy Assault <laughs> Rifle. Let's see. Complete all the encounters in the mission to earn weapon points. The demonic corruption meter tracks the points you've earned. Each mission has 10 weapon points total. Spend weapon points in the Arsenal tab. Okay, to upgrade your weapon mods. Let's see, there's the Arsenal tab. Da -da -da. Upgrades, navigate to the weapon has a modded uh, that has a mod unlocked. Select it and see the available upgrades. Uh, let's see. Here we can get uh, reload time increased by 20%. Explosion size increased. Let's see. Select an upgrade to purchase based on your available weapon points. Let's see. Here we can get uh, movement speed increased by 50%. Reload speed increased by 20%. Mm, but those never carry. Okay, we have six points already. And with full auto. Mm, let's go with this one. There. Purchase all upgrades to unlock access to a weapon mastery challenge. This gameplay challenge can be completed to unlock the, uh, the weapon's full power. Uh, learn more about it. Okay. The, the game isn't too easy, but it's not too hard yet. Let's see, there's something over here. This is for Durban Lord the first. Ooh, stinky bugs! Yep. Alright. You can use your chainsaw before you run out of ammo. Yeah. Let's see. Can we reach that? Nope. Okay, that's a hand. See, there's something here. Uh, let's see from Mac. Come back later with an upgrade and you will reach it. All right. The wolf. 
Argenta legends speak of sentinel beasts, loyal creatures that lived as companions of the hardened warriors. Often larger, swifter, and stronger than others of their kind, these animals shared instincts with their masters and aided them in battle. The night sentinels never shared publicly the origins of these creatures, for only they stood worthy of them. All right. Okay, oversized blender. Inefficient blender at that. Something up there. So the grapple can only be used on enemies. Entirely sure what this is doing. Eep. Eep. Another page. Let's see. Sentinel History Part 1. Translation from the Book of Kings. In the days before man first spoke, an immense shard of rock and metal was cast onto the world from the heavens. Thunder and cataclysm shook the land as the skies were torn asunder. The cosmic spear cleft a hole through our mortal lands, pole to pole, from the cold wastes of the umbral plains to the fetid swamps of Iron Fang. The womb of the world opened, and the elemental wraiths, the firstborn, spilled forth. They took to the skies spheres in their emancipation. In their exaltation, they brought vitality to the land, and all that felt their breath was awakened from eternal slumber. Fierce beasts and an unforgiving biosphere rose into the passing of their shadow as the Wraith Call echoed across Argent the Noor. First came the Ancestrals, feral creatures invigorated by the magic of the Wraiths. They grew to enormous heights, mighty behemoths who waged war with each other for, for years untold. Their battles tore the land asunder and destroyed all creation caught in their wake. The Wraith Call continued to spread across the land and soon the Argenta um, <coughs> Emerged from the steps, our souls stirred into form by the power from the power of their breath. The titans towered over the wild-blooded tribes, but found themselves uncowed. The secret of the sword was discovered, and the darkness of sweltering mountain forges we and in the darkness of uh, sweltering mountain forges we beat steel until it was strong enough to pierce bone and sever flesh. Thus we came to be, born of rock and fire, lowly in birth but risen by the strength of our will. By the blessedness of the first ones, we forged swords and sealed. We forged swords and sealed, and took the hammer to the ancestrals. We claimed the meaning of creation by right of blood and magic, and the time of man came to be. With the ancestral beasts driven back to their bleak valleys, we rose. We tilled the fertile land, husband beasts of burden, and built towering cities. In the hallowed place in palace, and the hallowed palace on the obsidian throne, uh, throne. We crowned King Ormero the Father, the first of the line that shall reign in perpetuity. We built the Cathedral of Refle the, the Reflection to worship the first ones and form the Order of the Deag, whose priests pay tribute to the wraiths and appease their temptuous hunger. Our sons, our sons and daughters chose the path of the sword or the path of the alchemists, for each duty honors the gods. Though our ways were righteous, we were not without strife. Storms and great quakes cast our spires down, barbaric tribes laid seeds to our fields in search of the great gifts Mother Argenta had bestowed upon our world, and the song of the Wraith Call threatened to drive lesser men into madness. We were not lesser men. We defended that which the First Ones gifted to us, our lands and rights to the bounty held within. We beat back the barbarian hordes and hardened our resolve. We rose above the fire, our bodies and souls tempered, and an unbreakable will was shaped in the forge of battle. What emerged was the heart of our legion, the Order of the Night Sentinels. All right. And yeah, take a look. Oh, and it's still freaking there. I thought it, I, I thought they meant this, the thing shot through entirely, but no. It basically just uh, treated this planet like a pickle and speared it. Not a pickle, an olive. There, there. Okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Let's see, nothing new in chat. Hmm. 
Okay, that's one way to turn to put in an off switch. Dash. Let's shift to move. Okay. Dashing into pitted surface instantly attaches to it. You to it. You can dash twice before it needs to recharge. Okay, now we can do that thing. And hello, Dark Glacier Boy. Getting busy in chat. Hello, Dark Glacier Boy! And all three of them, all my friends, are here! <laughs> About only three of them? <laughs> you know, I meant them more as you only have three of them. Well, uh, four with nope. you! Hello? see anyone here guarding it whatever it is that, yeah that's the part that we need you cannot kill the priests you know our laws despite their transgressions against the government they are still of sentinel blood what you interfere with now is bigger than you can imagine it is written. It is their time to give penance. If you continue, you will bring down the heaven's wrath. You are but one man. They are no longer your people to save. Fuck off, old man. Okay, so now we get it. The Daig are the Hell Priests. Let's see. King Novik. King Novik ruled over Sentinel Prime for many years as its warrior patriarch, ordained protector of the sovereign Sentinel worlds. The Sentinel people, defined by a legacy of war, deem only those of warrior caste befit to rule. And in times of battle, it is expected that the king lead from the battlefield rather than from the safety of the throne. As it is written in Sentinel Law, a king unfit for battle is likewise unfit to rule. For millennia, the Sentinel people have secured their civilization against the threat of invasion from beast and, hum and, <clears throat> and human alike, passing on the mantle of battle to each subsequent generation, <clears throat> and refining the art of war into an art of ultimate mastery. Even in times of peace, the Night Sentinels remain vigilant, developing new technologies of conquest, each the more capable of securing their dominion across the sovereign worlds. All right. Uh, let's see. Uh, Ma <laughs> uh, Scooper, the best three boys. Yes, the full crew. It is ice, copy. Uh, Drag got the full crew backing him up tonight. <laughs> Let's kill some demons, boys. I've seen this scene on YouTube. Uh, King Novak was the guy who did the voiceover in the intro. Yeah, the same voice. I, th I think it was the same voice. Uh, yes, he was. We will send unto them only you. All right, now boys. he wants to recall. Let's get the wants to right. us. What is Bring going on? What? Let's see, getting a lot of abilities. Oh, hello. You just continue to enjoy your baths. Uh, I should probably stop doing that. And I think I actually failed to uh, cork me. Then again, I never said I was an accent master. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, let's see here in chat. Mac, Tricky's warthog. Okay, how did that uh, thing sneak up on me? You, you heard a f living flesh balloon sneak up on you. Yep. See? Oh dear, I can see. From Doom and Loot first. Nice accent attempt right here. Thank you. Mac, headbanging to meat hook. 
Okay, I'm uh, guessing that's the name of the track. Oh, okay, okay. I was to say, you probably should not headbang against a meat hook. <laughs> and Glacier Borg. Okay. Ready to take that yeah. chair? <laughs> oh, hello. Ah. Yeah, too low. Okay. <laughs> there we go. Oh, oh hello. Secret encounters. Uh, optional timed encounters hidden in the world. Any resources spent in a secret encounter will not be restored afterwards. If you run out of time and fail, you can retry the secret encounter. Okay, and they award one weapon point. Gargoyles. There we go. Say, remember flying monkeys. Yep. <laughs> Still pressing R on instinct practically. Okay. Going to need to chainsaw something. Let's see here. It can be used to provide additional power to your ship. Several modules remain unused. Finding more batteries will enable you to utilize the full functions of your command station. And yes, Durbin, it did eat the explosive shell. Okay, I anything? regretted it. Nothing visible missed. Okay, we're getting a lot of movement options. Hmm. And we only got three of all of ten weapon points. God, it's because there's more. Hello. Plasma rifle. <laughs> okay. Uh, here. Yeah, plasma rifle. Designed by the USC's military tech division, the plasma rifle is the standard in energy-based weaponry. Firing a superheated plasma in, uh, ra in rapid short burst intervals, the plasma rifle is capable of overloading energy-based shielding and liquefy enemy combatants. Finally, something specific for those stupid shields. It looks quite different than the... Oh, hello! It looks quite different than the one from the previous game. Yeah, he's a different model. The Revenant is a heavy aerial demon that specializes in mid-range attacks. Its shoulder cannons are weak points, destroying them disables its long-range attacks, forcing it to be a melee combatant. All right. Uh, yeah. Weak point launchers, more vulnerable when in the air. Dash and double jump will break the... Okay, now they do lock on. The Revenant program, a bioweapon experiment, utilized reanimated necrotic human tissue. Um, was believed to have been destroyed with the collapse of the UAC facility on Mars. However, however the emergence of the cultist enclaves on Earth, former UAC uh, deviations, now under Hell's direct control, the deviations, okay, have begun work on a second wave of production of the Revenant program. While much of the platform's existing weapon payload is preserved as originally designed, the Cybernova programming has undergone modification. Pattern signals are wired to the host's frontal cortex, which in turn simulate a state of frenzied, unrestrained bloodlust. While these signals are active, the host is incapable of thinking or feeling anything but a singular compulsion to inflict death and violence on the living. Okay. Darling. Oh, hello. And, yeah, they are either on hell or earth. So I think I see more demonic weapons. So yeah. No, you don't. Ah, hell. 
There we go. There we go. We're in. I think. Yeah, we're in some sort of mid. Yeah, yeah. I'm not sure where we are. Let's see. Rebuild the celestial locator, and there is something. Something around here. Ooh. Yeah, these has not seen more faster and more dangerous, and they actually have eyeballs this time. Yeah. God damn it. Okay, looks like we are going to get some use of those extra lives. Locate the betrayer. Okay. Hmm. Hello. Okay, there you are, but how do we get to you? Hmm. There must be something breakable around here somewhere. There's a path underneath. Uh, let's see. Fun fact, there's a skin for the Revenant that they replace the shoulder cannons with trumpets because of the dude meme. Yeah, we, we see that uh, every time we were to start the other Doom game, uh, that uh, thing was uh, on display on the menu. Goop. Okay, sneaky fuck. All right, when the floor is invisible, keep the shotgun handy. Oh, oh, we can't jump in this. All right. It's going to be a hazard. Okay, the game got deselected there for a second. First time today. Hopefully the last. Yoink. Let's see, what can we get for you? Heat blast, firing the plasma rifle builds up excess heat. Okay, and microwave beam. Let's see, acquire a target, then fire a concentrated beam of plasma that will lock down an enemy and cause them to explode on death. Uh, um, yeah, like in the preview. <laughs> there we go. Uh, anything else there around is a here? Power core nearby. You can use it to activate the mech and clear the path forward. Nice little light, night light. Okay, I thought this was optional, but no, it's per it's uh, required. It seems. Yeah, I think we all on Earth just move the hellfire areas, and these. Rascals get to work quickly. Now, if there's a night sentinel battery here, that's this is oh. not Earth. This this is an in-between bit. Okay, true. Hmm. Has to be some way to get the Oh hello. Oh. There we go. Yep. <laughs> really? <laughs> we find the freaking album <laughs> on vinyl, no less. Okay, uh, my you do know the Easter eggs in the main base, right? Uh, I haven't seen any of those yet. Oh, that is actually. Yeah, we're gonna have to find the Doom Guys bookshelf for you to take a look at. It's. Uh, chat, ta, 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 punch the box, yeah, next to the objective. Uh, left for a moment to grab a drink, and we're in a flesh pit. 
Uh, yes, there are even misplaced parts. Okay. Okay. Oh. Quicks, when aiming at a demon or its weak point, use the heavy can. Nope. Oh. Alright. First, let's grab this. History of the Night Sent. Okay, uh, we are still on the same world, we're just in a different Hellified hell hell area of it. Uh, in the time of grief, when King Atrox, uh, Atrox took the throne, a blessing came to the people of Argenta. White porcelain beings from a world above our own brought gifts to the Noor. Uh, observers to our great deeds, admirers of our convictions, they sought to make uh, bonds with our swords and bring lasting order to our world. They, these were beings unlike any we had seen before. Shield, sword and shield held no weight against them, for the ethereal flesh of these luminous beings seemed unbound by mortality. Able to move through time and space, they held sway over all the means of the known and unknown dimensions. Through their ways we grew stronger, our society bolstered by their infinite wisdom and all-knowing power, assuring our people safety for all time, in this world and the next. Where we sharpened the blade and mastered our magic, they bolstered the soul and spirits. Death would no longer be the end of our people. The ones we call the Makers, our new allies in this brutal world, have given us the security and death we fought so hard to achieve in life. We would, have, uh, we would find eternal peace and our minds would rest easy with the knowledge that those we fought alongside in battle would join us in the lands beyond the mortal plane. The strength of our ways, the purity of our essence, uh, would by maker law grant us passage to the great city in the clouds. There, our women and children, warriors and kin alike, would welcome us. We adopted the holy doctrines of the makers, gifted in exchange with the chance to, uh, to earn eternal rest for our, our immortal souls in blessed Urdak. The covenant we held now under the embrace of our new gods fostered a peace we had never known. For they were unlike the first ones, whose presence offered no paradise from fear and the uncertainty of his existence in a harsh and unforgiving world. The Maker's embrace was warm and guided us into an era of spiritual prosperity. That sounds... yeah, that's the con maker there. This sounds too good to be true. Yes. Oh dear. We've unlocked quick shot, E1, M1. Oh, shush, I corrected myself. <laughs> that was an interesting idea of a hand cannon. <laughs> Angry Doomslayer noises. Okay, so now we can much easier get shots off on weak points with quick shots. I keep pressing R like I'm needing to reload, which we I don't. And the last one sank away. No, the third one, not last. Yep. And a scream with each of these. The worst <laughs> doorbell ever. Okay, it's giving an update on Kakro Demon weak points, so they must be nearby. I Spire think, Revenant. I feel like uh, Durvan, the first here, is gonna feel very happy to see what there is here. You are less of a problem. I'm looking for the revenants. What goes every energon? They say for Dermal Lord first. Nice lava. Care first win. <laughs> Later. There we go. No more doot. Would a 
have preferred it if there was a contact grenade, but oh well. Dang it! Did Doom Nadu exploded? Yep, yep. And I'm doing a pirate? Oh, you're new. Okay, let's see if I don't go the first. Would it be great if you could make the demons go for a lava swim in all seriousness? And you? Yes. Come here, you. Uh, maybe if he shot them in mid-air as they jumped over something. I doubt that somewhat. That's the stream timer going off. Yep. Again, it's just it's just gaming reflex. Then just hit R after combat. <laughs> All right. Nothing missed. Nothing missed. Okay. Um, let's go until we hit a checkpoint. Oh. get a sick uh, dash refill grab a dash refill to completely refill the dash meter after grabbing one you can dash again okay let's see a little jumping puddle that should hit a checkpoint okay and yeah when we dash we immediately grab on Come here, you. Okay. Uh, I actually don't know where to look for any loading uh, or saving symbol because there's already so much on the screen. Yeah, but mm. but the things on the screen are actually rather small. Can you think about it? I actually didn't get the big armor. Do I suspect you are about to enter a checkpoint? There's a secret encounter there, but I'll leave that for another time. It's... Ah, in the upper right. Alright. I think that was a safe icon. Okay. Uh, yeah, there was something over here, so I presume that was the save. So, yeah. As annoyed uh, as annoying as it was with the the technical issues at the start, I am very much enjoying this. <laughs> yeah. So far, the game did not cause problems. Yeah, it was just Discord and OBS being a nuisance. Yeah, do now we know it, and now we sh know that we should. Yeah, be careful. And I guess it, this game is more stable. For I think I heard the 62 was fun, but it did have some technical issues. Yeah. Oh, apparently it's been maxing out my uh, GPU card the whole time. <laughs> okay, but it could just be another case where it just takes as much as it can. Uh, also, if I, let's see, go over to details here, and then VC face, priority, high, yes. It's... Okay, yeah, that helps. I, sh I should do that ahead of time with streams now to avoid the, yep, <laughs> stop motion. But, yeah, that... 
Again, that, that went well despite the starting here hiccups. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm okay. so happy for it. And wait. It looks like you're missing a DLC. Let's see. Battle of uh, Ancient Gods 2. Okay. Not sure where I got this one from. Maybe just with the initial purchase or a bundle or something. Yeah, for you want both. For them mm. or they're story heavy. Okay, there's, I'm seeing a lot of names in the chat, except other than the people who have been chatting. Hello there, Sensei, for lurking. Uh, but some of these are very likely to be bots, including one here called Wanna Be My Gamer Friends. Or, or some, that's gotta be a bot name. If not, sorry, if you are a bot, fuck you. <clears throat> Either way, yeah, a good start to this game. And, oh yeah, there we go, <laughs> stream backing slow again. Okay, definitely looking forward to the, <laughs> to the rest. It is a little bit jarring that it's a lot more arcadey, <laughs> but it is also very fun. Yeah, and also very lively. Yeah. Okay. This is good. And no, if... as you did see, as, as did you hear earlier, that they removed the reload for sake of fun. Is that they wanted to do a good story, but also want to make sure the game was fun. Yeah, and that should be the first thing to uh, to count. Okay, the bar before we end the stream, though, we are going to look for someone to raid. So let's see. I've already changed the screen share, or I think I have. I see we uh, raid London. <laughs> Uh, let's see, Mark, the devs had fun, uh, fun at the front of their development. Uh, does, is that supposed to imply that they had less fun towards the end due to crunch or stuff? Anyways, we have Swalbe who is streaming Stalker Shadow of Chernobyl. Stalker has been a, in, has been a popular series again lately with streamers that I've seen. Uh, we have Hisaya Rozier who is streaming Dungeon Munchies. Cora Dust is playing Overwatch. I'm not going to call that Overwatch 2 anymore because you know, it's basically just a patch version. Uh, not even a patch version. It's just a given a bit of spit shine and nothing more. And more microtransactions. Grim the Wolf is playing Ni Neo. We we've showcased that game, I think. I'm a flanker is streaming Silica. Let's take a peek at that. I don't know that game. Uh, okay. First person tactical. Halloween is streaming Valkyria Chronicles 4. That Scaly Tail is doing art. And Schmoops Other Nonsense is playing Project Zomboids. Alright. Any of those sound interesting? Or shall we look for someone else? Or does anyone have any suggestions? Hmm. I'll be up for uh, raiding uh, Swabble. Okay, Swell Bay. Wanna see if Vanna else has something else to recommend? Let's see then. For now, they're copying their name. Uh, let's see, Overwatch Scan, more like. Yeah. From what I heard, the player base is slowly but surely dwindling away. And hmm, I have to say, I, I, I bought the original Overwatch and I enjoyed it for a bit. Uh, maybe more for just the characters and stuff. But, yeah, I just got burnt out on the game, and, well, it's not getting any better from what I've heard. And just all of Blizzard's bullshit. And apparently they are going, they, apparently they are going to get buy, bought out by Microsoft, so it's a question of if it will get improved or not. Uh, mm. Not only them, but also Activision. Yeah. Okay, we'll just have to see how that goes. For now, I'm not seeing any raid suggestions, so we're just going to go with Swalbe then. But before we start the raid, of course, thank you everyone who has been watching now or later. Thank you, Mac, Durvan Lord, Glacier Boy. Uh, let's see. Anyone else who was here? Marco? I know you. Durvan? Uh, yeah, I, 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 pretty, I think I said them all right. But yeah, thank you all of Drakir's friends, and of course, thank you, Drakir. You're welcome as always, and thank you everyone for joining. And please, watch out for zombie seagulls. 
Let's see, Mac. I went from a top 5% worldwide Reinhardt player to never touching the game because how the treatment Blizz gave to the game. Uh, and also being my pleasure. <laughs> yeah, just... Uh, on Blizzard, the last thing I'll say on that for now is that the actual developers of the game should just all quit and start a new company and call it Heatwave or something just to spite them. Actually, because it's not the actual developers who are the problem, I believe. It's just that the suits in at the top. Yeah, the head developer for Overwatch 2 actually left. For he tried to protect his team from Blizzards a lot. But then again, he just... Yeah, he and a few others did quit. For the, yeah. they, could, they, they couldn't understand uh, what Blizzards were trying... Blizzard tried to interfere with the work all the time. And they... And many things that ended up in Overwatch 2, they did not want themselves, but they were forced to add it. Hence why they quit. Many of them left, quit the left. Yeah. The, the, the developers should just make their own studio, and the animators should just go make a movie studio, because that <laughs> their, their cinematic quality has been top-notch since the, the, the Warcraft game. It, it, yeah, the Warcraft days. But, yeah. And with that, let's start up the raids. And uh, let's see, it's not blocked. All right. Okay, then. Uh, thank you, everyone, who has been watching again. And uh, yeah, tomorrow, probably day off. We did a multi. We did two multiplayer things last week, so probably not this week. And uh, yeah, thank you all again for watching. And until next time, have a nice day. And until then. See, see you all next time, everyone. And watch out for zombie seagulls. And demons. Yeah, and uh, IRL seagulls, which you've been having issues with lately. <laughs> Actually, I, I think I found out what it was. They did not land here, but they did leave a present.